Once again, welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Ministries, where we keep the fire of the Holy Spirit burning. We give glory and honor to God for how far He's brought us this year, how far He has brought us this week, how far He has brought us this month. To Him alone be all the glory and praise. There's no God like our God. He's the almighty, all-powerful, all-knowing, all-wise God. In Him we live, we move, and have our being. He's the reason why we are still alive. And we just want to appreciate him for the gift of life, the gift of health, the gift of divine protection and preservation. Glory and honor and praise belongs to our God. He is worthy to receive all the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please join me as we give glory and honor to Jesus and join me to thank him for everything that he has done for us in the course of the day, in the course of the week. Give him all the praise for he is a faithful God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless your name, O oh God. We glorify your name. We magnify your name. We exalt you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus, because you first loved us and died for our sins. Rabade de sokataya dabados. Pelebe cabrandos carebeshende. We worship you. We glorify you, Jesus. We magnify you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. We enthrone you, Jesus. We celebrate you, Jesus. We magnify your name. We enthrone you, Lord. Rabba seke polo sata yadaba. Reba bosika ta yadaba dos. Rade kete 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 la bosuka brane ne kadosi anabashanda. We worship, we worship, we glorify you, Jesus. Be glorified, be magnified, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, ancient of days, bright morning star, soon coming King, I am that I am. All power, all glory, all honor, all praise belong to you. We give you all the praise. Ran dale de des, sakataya de des, ran tele de des, kapada be de des, reba de de des, korabada be des, raba de de des, kapelelele suntos. We worship, we worship. Thank you for Samuel, thank you for Sonia, thank you for Sarah, thank you for Esther, thank you for my life, thank you for the ministry. Thank you, Lord Almighty, for your loving kindness. Thank you, Jesus. Magnify the name of the Lord. Magnify the name of the Lord. Magnify the name of the Lord, for He is worthy to receive all the praise. Had it not been for the mercies of God, had it not been for the goodness of God, had it not been for the timely intervention of God, where would we be? Where would you be? Where would I be? We just say thank you. We just say thank you, Jesus. We say we magnify you, Jesus. We are grateful, for, oh Lord. We are thankful, oh God. We worship you, Jesus. Let the name of the Lord be glorified. Let the name of the Lord be magnified. Let the name of the Lord be exalted. For he's a faithful God. For he's a good God. Raba baba suka yada raba sheke le bosika raba shanda rande le bosika raba shanda le bosatai rimbo bosika raba baba rosi yana raba shandi. We say thank you, Jesus. 
thank you for the food we eat, the air we breathe, the water we drink, the health you give it to us. Thank you for our sons and daughters. Thank you for husbands and wives, brothers and sisters. Thank you for our jobs. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for protection. Thank you for preservation. Thank you for life. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for eternal life. Thank you for your goodness, your mercies. Thank you for seeing us through our storms, our problems and challenges. We thank you, Lord Almighty, for salvation for our family members. Thank you for answering our prayers when we called on to you. Thank you for the testimonies. Thank you, Lord. We worship you for waking up us up from our sleep, from bed. Thank you, Lord Almighty, for clothing us, you clothing us with your righteousness. Thank you for grace. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your grace. That is sufficient for us. We worship you, Jesus. May the name of the Lord be glorified. Let the name of the Lord be magnified. In Jesus' name. The Bible says, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves. In the course of the day, it's possible you've thought about things, you've seen things, you've watched things, you've behaved in ways that does not glorify God or you have not obeyed fully what the Holy Spirit or the Word of God instructed you because we are human. But we want to pray and ask for mercy and forgiveness that the Lord will be merciful to you and I and cleanse us and wash us from all our sins, all our transgression, all our iniquities. Ask God for mercy and forgiveness that the blood of Jesus Christ will cleanse you and I from all our sins. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's begin to pray for mercy. Mercy, 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 mercy. We pray for mercy. We pray for the mercies of God. We pray for forgiveness. Wash us, Lord. Cleanse us, Lord. Purge us, Lord. Purify us, Lord. Sanctify us, Lord. With the precious blood of Jesus. Great, O oh God, in me. Great in us, O oh God, a clean heart. We pray for mercy. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. We ask for mercy. We ask for your forgiveness. We ask for your pardon. Be merciful to us. Be gracious to us. Cleanse us from all our sins. Cleanse us from all our iniquities. All our transgression. All our evil ways. Every attitude, behavior, conduct, perspective. Every way that doesn't glorify you. Lord Jesus, be merciful to us. Have mercy and forgive 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 us. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. 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 Be merciful to us. Forgive us, O God. Be merciful to us. Forgive us, O Lord. Wash us, O Lord. Cleanse us, O Lord. Purge us, O Lord. Purify us, O Lord. Sanctify us, O Lord. With the precious blood of Jesus. Let the blood, let the blood, let the blood, let the blood cleanse you and I from all evil thoughts, evil actions, evil motives, evil reactions. Anything we've done that doesn't glorify God. May the Lord show us your His mercy and create in us a clean heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. We want to pray and ask the Lord for strength and grace. We want to ask the Lord to baptize us with His Holy Ghost and with His power, with His Holy Ghost and with His fire. We want fresh anointing. We need fresh oil, fresh grace, fresh power to be able to do His will. Begin to pray for the strength of God, the grace of God. Maybe you are weary. Maybe you are tired. Maybe you've been through so much this week and you need the Lord to refresh you, the Lord to strengthen you, the Lord to empower you to be able to carry on. Begin to pray that the Lord God Almighty will pour His Spirit, His anointing afresh upon you and strengthen you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, Father, we come before your presence asking for fresh anointing. Asking for fresh anointing, fresh oil, fresh grace. We pray for fresh oil, Lord. We pray for fresh oil, Lord. We pray for fresh anointing, Lord. We pray for fresh grace, O God. Lord, strengthen us, O God. Strengthen me, Lord. Strengthen us, Lord. Strengthen me, Lord. Strengthen us, Lord. With your Holy Ghost and power. Strengthen me, Lord. Strengthen us, Lord. With your Holy Ghost and fire. We pray for fresh oil. We pray for fresh anointing. We pray for fresh grace. We pray for fresh unction. Rabba sika paya, ripa tolevedes, reba dabados, men televedos, rabba kataya da, 
Repapolo Sekete, Rebedebedes, Rabadabaros, Rabababababa. Fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh fire, fresh oil, fresh anointing, fresh oil, fresh fire, fresh grace, fresh unction to function. Pour your spirit afresh upon us. Renew our strength to God. Revive us to God. Revive us to God. Revive us to God. Renew us to God. Revamp us to Lord. Rebas Kataya. Rebas Kotaya. Rebas Kotoya. Rebas Kataya. Rebas Shakados. Rebados Ekete. Rebas Sukabaya. Then Toleves. Rebedebede. Rabadebede. Repanamados. Rakapaleves. Rabadebede. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Fresh fire. Fresh power. Fresh unction. Reba Sukapa. Reba Sukapa. Reba Sukapa. Reba Sukapa. Reba Sukapa. Reba Shakata. Reba Sukapa. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost fire. Strength us, O Lord. Strengthen the weak. Strengthen the weary. Strengthen the fatigue. Strengthen the worn out. Strengthen the sick. Strengthen us, O God. Body, soul, and spirit. Strengthen us, O God. Body, soul, and spirit. Strengthen us, O God. Body, soul, and spirit. With Holy Ghost and power. With Holy Ghost and fire. With Holy Ghost and power. With Holy Ghost and fire. With the Holy Ghost and power. With the Holy Ghost and fire. Reba Baba Shaka. Reba Sukapa. 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 Reba Shakata. Reba Sukapa. Reba Shakata. Reba Sukapa. Reba Shakata. Reba Sukapa. Reba Sukapa. We pray for grace. We pray for your grace. Be strengthen us, Lord. Help us, Lord, in our weakness. We pray for supernatural strength, supernatural grace, empowerment, supernatural empowerment, supernatural empowerment, supernatural empowerment, supernatural empowerment, supernatural empowerment. Hey, Abadosa, mental Abadosa, re Abadosa, re Abadosa, re Abadosa. Rebada Barosa, Regada Barosa, Regada Barosa, Regada Barosa, Regada Barosa, Regada Barosa, Regada Barosa, Regerebo Shanda, Kimazuka Bala Baba. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. I want you to soak your body, soul, and spirit, soak your husband, your wife, your son, your daughter, your brothers and sisters, your parents, your family members, your relatives, your loved ones. Cover them in the blood of Jesus and plead the protection of the Lord upon them. The Bible says, when I see the blood, there shall be a Passover and the destroyer and the plague shall not be able to harm you. We want to pray, pray and cover our entire family in the blood of Jesus Christ. That the blood of Christ should keep us from accidents, from sicknesses, from calamities, from atrocities, from hurt, harm, from danger, from every plot of the enemy, whatever the devil has devised against us, orchestrated against us, because of the precious blood of Jesus Christ, no weapon formed or fashioned against us shall prosper because we are covered by the blood of Jesus. Immerse yourself and your entire family. Immerse your marriage in the blood. Immerse your finances in the blood. Immerse your career in the blood. Immerse your son, your daughter, the academics, everything, everything about you, all your family members, your relatives, your properties, cover them all, your car in the blood. Cover your car so that you will not be engaged in any accident. Cover your health in the blood of Jesus. Cover your marriage in the blood so that the devil will not attack your marriage with confusion, misunderstanding, divorce, separation. Cover your job that the devil will not come in to steal your source of bread, your source of income. Begin to soak your family in the blood of Jesus for divine covering, for divine protection in the mighty name of Jesus. We plead the blood. We plead the blood over our sons and daughters. We plead the blood over our husbands and wives. We plead the blood over our children. We plead the blood over our family members and loved ones. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. Reba sukapa laba. Reba sukapa. Reba sukata. Reba sukata. Reba sukata. Reba sukata. Reba sukata. Reba sukata. I plead the blood. I plead the blood over my body, over my soul, over my spirit. I soak my wife in the blood. I soak some of the Sarah in the blood. I soak my family in the blood. Press my men, my in the blood. We plead the blood of Jesus. Makuna masuka tayada. Let the blood of Jesus preserve us. Let the blood of Jesus protect us. Let the blood of Jesus shield us. Let the blood of Jesus defend us. Let the blood of Jesus form a wall of fire all around us and keep us from any imminent danger, impending danger, unforeseen danger, surprise attacks, demonic activities. Witchcraft arrows and that. Rabba Sukapa, we plead the blood. 
we plead the blood 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 the blood of jesus let the blood preserve you and i let the blood protect you and i let the blood shield you and mine from all evil raba sikataya raba shikitaya raba shikitaya raba shikitaya we plead the blood of jesus rakata kataya kataya we cover our body soul and spirit we cover our families we cover our children in the blood of jesus 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 raba sukataya da we plead the blood of jesus we plead we plead divine protection divine protection through the blood divine preservation through the blood iraba sukapa labada ba lord preserve us lord protect us lord shield us from all evil from all calamities in the name of jesus man ta da 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 raba da 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 we plead the blood soak your what marriage in the blood soak your family in the blood soak your children in the blood ran ta 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 da 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 ran ta da 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 ran ta da 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 ran ta da 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 ran ta da 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 ran ta da 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 ran ta da 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 we plead the blood we plead the blood we plead the blood we plead the blood The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord for divine preservation. Thank you Lord for divine protection. Thank you Lord for divine security. Thank you that we find our protection in God and he is our deliverer because of the blood no weapon formed or fashion against you and I shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ thank you thank you lord we thank god for preserving us throughout the course of the week we thank god for how far he has brought us get your bibles ready as we go into the word to pray the word of god into our lives in the name of Jesus thank you father thank you holy spirit thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord Thank you Jesus. Today we are dealing with blinding monitoring eyes, blinding monitoring eyes. Praying to blind, praying to blind monitoring eyes. Praying to blind monitoring eyes. May the Lord blind any evil eye that is monitoring you and I in the name of Jesus Christ. prayers to blind monitoring eye prayers to blind monitoring eye in the name of Jesus we are believing god by the time this prayers are done whatever or whoever is monitoring you their evil eye will be blinded in the name of Jesus Christ blinding monitoring eye thank you Jesus Thank you Lord. 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 Amen and amen. Amen. So our subject for today is blinding monitoring eye or blinding evil eye. There are some of us until we blind monitoring eyes that are following us it will be very hard or impossible for us to fulfill our destinies because once this evil eye continuously get information about your next move they will always sabotage spoil and frustrate divine purposes concerning your life that's why 
this message is very important that today oh god let every monitoring eye let every evil eye let every demonic eye let every witchcraft eye let every evil eye that is monitoring my life let that monitoring eye be blinded be blinded be blinded in the name of jesus i blind i blind every evil eye with the blood of jesus i blind every evil eye with the holy ghost fire and lightning i blind every evil eye i pierce that evil eye with the sword of god with the arrows of god i blind every evil eye that is monitoring my life in the name of jesus lord blind every evil eye monitoring me you can type it out lord blind every evil eye lord jesus blind every evil eye that is monitoring me let the angel of the lord blind let the angel of the lord blind let the angel of the lord be deployed let the angel of the lord be released let the angel of the lord be assigned to blind anyone anyone whoever it may be who is monitoring my progress monitoring my destiny monitoring my life monitoring my family and frustrating the plans the purposes of god concerning our lives let them be blinded let them be blinded in the name of jesus christ let them be blinded because as i said as long as they can monitor you they know that your next move and therefore they can be able to what um plan and plot and devise ways to frustrate it that's exactly what they almost did to joseph as long as his own brothers could monitor his dreams then they almost wanted to what kill him and also frustrate his destiny by selling him as a slave because they could know what where he was going because of his dream monitoring eye in the spiritual realms we have what is called star gazers star gazers people who can look into the star and be able to through the star gazing astrology they can determine the destinies of human humanity that's why sometimes a, a person can meet a psychic a spiritualist and say let me see the palms of your hands and by reading the palms of your hands they can say that oh i know this is going to be what will happen to you on this date these are people who are able to use familiar spirit and demonic entities to see i'm, I'm letting you know that the devil is able to have foreknowledge about destinies of people. They may not know the details of everything, but they are able to know that this child carries a destiny. This woman carries a destiny. This man carries a destiny. And these destinies can be known almost 100 years, 200 years, even sometimes 400 years before the person even shows up. And unfortunately, planted within our bloodline and our families, there are people who are stargazers and can know that a time will come that a great person will be born into this family who will do great exploit and bring deliverance and do great things. Immediately, the stargazers or star browsers or, pro or monthly prognosticators are able to determine this. They begin to go through all the family members. And, and begin to find out who carries that star because it has already been revealed. It happens with Moses. They knew that one day a deliverer will show up. And immediately the prognosticators, the star browsers, the star gazers, the astrologers, and fortune tellers and diviners could determine that they made sure that during that time, every child that was born during the time of Moses was killed. It took God's timely intervention that caused Moses to escape. It happened also with Jesus. They knew that time is coming. A savior, a messiah will be born to bring salvation to these people. When the time came, they also brought about distraction. So stargazing, star browsing, astrology, and monthly pro prognosticators, those who are able to determine times and seasons by looking into the galaxies and stars and astronomy, they are able to use their evil eye to be able to discern and know that that's it. If you don't know these things, you will always find yourself endowed with great potential but cannot manifest. The saddest thing is that some of us, not only have we been damaged, 
because of star gazers, but also because of ignorance. Ignorance, we are allowing our children to also go through the same because they have determined some of our kids are very um, going to be very great and very influential and very powerful. And what have they done? They've started either so they can cause miscarriages and kill the child. They can cause uh, um, the pet, they can manipulate the parent to abort the child or cause miscarriage or stillbirth or even cause deformity and, and, and birth defect. These are all ways of attacking the child. And if the child manages to, to survive, then you realize that they can try to make the child who was born to be very prominent, somebody who is born to be a president, and now the person at a young age, they will give the person the spirit of theft, stealing, so that the person, the child will start stealing and be put in prison and ruin his potential of becoming a president in the future because they saw that. So many of our children who are going through many challenges of stubbornness and rebellion and, and, and insubordination and, and, and not paying attention and they have great star and the enemy is after them. When you see your child being rebellious and disobedient and giving you much problems and that child may have a very great star and they want to frustrate his destiny and that's why they are manipulating him or her the child to be able to to do things to go astray or to abort and frustrate his glorious destiny and as parents as we understand spiritual things when we see that we need to rather pray for the protection of that child and leave them in constant prayers because the star gives us one girl for instance she has a very great star she has a great destiny that god gave it to her that one day she will become exceedingly great and powerful and influential. Now, with this great star that was given to her, anyone who has a spiritual eyes, anyone who has witchcraft spirit, or anyone who has the ability to see into the spiritual realm, immediately they see the girl, they become uncomfortable, and they begin to fight the girl. Why? Because they want to steal that potential, that glory, that star from her. So everywhere she goes, she has issues. And the parents didn't understand. They, they kept her moving her from one school to another school. Teachers will be turning on her. Friends will be turning on her. Everywhere she goes. Why? Because when the teacher is into when her, her teacher is a witch and sees the girl's talent, the teacher wants to come for the star. When she goes to another place and whoever it is sees the star. The, so she was going having many problems because of the great destiny. You have to be mindful of these things. Otherwise, you will not understand why some of us, or why you, growing up, you have so much issues. You have so much issues. Everywhere you go, no matter how calm, no matter how quiet, no matter how nice you wanted to be, people were picking out on you and coming after you. Maybe it's because of a great destiny. And when our parents are, are not prayerful and spiritual enough, evil, people with evil eye can steal these destinies from us and then somebody who was great like joseph who was meant to become a prime minister could you imagine he's now reduced to becoming a slave and some of us that's how they have turned your destiny upside down so we i want you to understand that we have what's called stargazers prognosticators Star browsers, astrologers, psychics, mediums, fortune tellers, diviners. These are all people with a spiritual third eye. The ability to see into the spirit. Either whether they are using their witchcraft spirit or using divine divination spirit or satanic spirit, they are able to see. And their main target is to spoil, steal, damage or destroy people with glorious and powerful destinies. I, I, I give you an example of how they came after Moses because they saw the star of Moses to be a deliverer. So the Bible says during Moses' time, all the boys at the age of three or two and down, they murdered them just because they were looking for Moses to kill. They saw the star and they said, no, this guy, if we allow him, one day he's going to bring these people out of bondage, captivity after 430 years. 
we need to stop a star. Still, they are stopping people's star. Still, up to now. Your star of glorious marriage, your star of a good job, your star of financial breach, your star of business, your star of children, your star of whatever grow glorious things. When, because some of us, because of carelessness or our upbringing or our family was not strong with prayer, they allowed people to temper and to frustrate our stars. But I'm just saying that today you have the ability to know and to recover what the devil stole from you. And you have the ability to also be careful and mindful that you don't allow star geezers to, to, to monitor and destroy your seed, your children, your grandchildren in the name of of Jesus Christ. When we read, let's let's find out about some scriptures that talks about star these guys. Isaiah 47, Isaiah 47, Isaiah chapter 47. May the Lord say Lord Jesus blind every monitoring eye in my life in Jesus' name. Blind, blind them, blind them blind them every monitoring eye any eye that monitors my movement lord blind them in the name of jesus christ they can place their monitoring eye everywhere some of you in your very bedroom somebody's watching you they are just watching you because they have placed an eye an object that monitors you every conversation you take with your husband it doesn't become fruitful it doesn't it, it doesn't manifest because whenever you are conversing, even in your closet, they can hear it through. And these evil monitoring eyes, whatever their eye can see, they can destroy. Whatever their eye can see, they will destroy it. And that's why you have to cause God to blind them or keep your business away from their evil eye. Because if they see it, they will destroy it. What is happening in the fiscal realm of today we have monitors, today we have tracking devices, today we have um, cameras, television, things that helps people to know and track things and know what's going on, even internet and all these things. It all started in the spiritual realm. The ability to see things far without being there. Isaiah chapter... 47 verse 30. Today my prayer is that whoever, whoever is monitoring you, let that person's eyes be blinded in the name of Jesus. Whoever, I don't care who it is, was it is whoever, it can be anyone planted, positioned around you to monitor you, to frustrate divine purpose concerning your life. It can be closer than you think. It can be what? Very closer. So my prayer is whosoever, whosoever, you fill in the blanks, whosoever fit, who is monitoring me, monitoring my progress, monitoring my marriage, monitoring my health, monitoring my finances, and using their evil eye to practice witchcraft and sorcery and enchantment against me, Lord, whosoever, because of their evil eye, I can't get married. Because of their evil eye, I can't be pregnant. Because of their evil eye, I'm unable to get my breakthrough. Because of their evil eye, I cannot succeed. Lord, blind them. Lord Jesus, 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 blind them. Let their eye be blinded. Let their eyes be blinded. Let their eyes be blinded. Let their eyes be blinded. In the name of Jesus. In my mother's house, let their eyes be blinded. In my father's has let their eyes be blinded. Those who meet in their coven to monitor me, to watch me, let them be blinded in their coven in the name of Jesus. Wherever they meet to monitor me, Lord, blind them in Jesus' name. Blind them in the name of Jesus. Let the angel of the Lord strike them with blindness. How come you have good ideas but nothing that you plan to do are you able to bring it to pass? Somebody's monitoring you. With an evil eye. And then the saddest thing is that that which you were planning to do, which you were unable to do, you see somebody close to you doing it. I'm getting married. I'm getting married. You made so much noise about it. I'm getting married. 
up to now you are not married but somebody who wasn't close to even getting married has sadly passed you they are married and they are inviting you you said you were married after you had finished school and working and when you were saying i'm getting married the person was in high school they hadn't even gone to college now they are finished high school going to college finished college are working and they are now getting married and you who started making noise i'm getting married five years ago up to now does it does it sound familiar how even some of the young guys or young people we know that we even went to their graduation today sadly they have graduated from high school you watch them graduate from college you want them and now they are moving into their next stage and levels in life and you are stuck at the same place no change who is monitoring you who is your star gazer? who is that prost prognosticator who is that star browser who is that astrologer psychic medium fortune teller diviner sorcerer that is enchanting against you because they are watching who is watching your son your daughter that suddenly a respectful serious good student has become rebellious disobedient flanking their grades becoming disobedient rebellious and doing poorly in school and you are finding it difficult to even deal with the child no, no respect for you or their teachers you are constantly having parents teachers meet conference parent teachers conference because because somebody has seen the star teachers can teachers with witchcraft can see it and fight the child peers who have witchcraft can see it and attack we need to cover our sons and daughters our family members in the blood of jesus christ Isaiah 47 verse 13. You are worried in the multitude of your counsels. Let now, God was talking to Israel about their ways. But he was making mention that now that you don't want to follow me and obey me and do my bidding. This is what he's saying to them. You are worried in the multitude of your counsel. Let now your astrologers, 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 those who read times and seasons, and haven't you heard about people who say, you are a Capricorn, you are a Uricorn, you are this and this, and then they give you the, they are able to determine, you, you just tell them you are born on January, and they'll tell you, February. Astrologers, astronomers. You are worried in the multitude of your counsel. Let now your astrologers, your stargazers, astrologers, the stargazers, there are people who gaze, who read the stars and are able to determine destinies. Please don't be a novice and a naivety, a, na naive, a naive person in this season. There are deeper things in this world. When Joseph, when Joseph went to Jacob to tell him about his dream of him seeing the stars and the moon and the sun, jo Jacob told him that the sun is more me, the moon is your mother, the stars are your brothers. Hmm. stars why do we say oh celebrity oh this is a mega this is a superstar this this is a, this is a superstar oh this celebrity is a star why do we don't just say they are stars it's because their destinies are enshrouded in their stardom it's not just star destinies are in stardom and whenever you also see a shooting star, it's because a star is falling. And a destiny 
is, is falling or something like that. We take everything casual because of we are religious, but we are not spiritual. <laughs> Many Christians are very religious. I love the Lord. I serve the Lord. I do. But you are not spiritual. You don't know spiritual things. Because people can take the sand and through the sand do their browsing. And by the time they realize, they are telling you your future. So God here is saying that let your astrologers star gazes star gazes the, the most dangerous star gazes are those in, in within families witches and wizards familiar spirits and ancestral spirits in families who are able to look into the family to know that a time will come. A prominent person will come in through this family. And she's going to have one lady, for instance, the, 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 the star geezers in her family realize that, wow, through her, in her future, she will give birth to many children, about four or five children. And out of her children, some will be doctors, some will be lawyers, some will be governors, some will be some will marry president or become president. Immediately they saw that they shut the womb of the child. You can't, you will not be pregnant for you to have these children. So some people are fighting barrenness because the stargazers in your family saw it, shut you down. They shut you down one time. They should sit down for you to come and have these four children doctor, lawyer married to a president and a governor in this family no you are going to joseph brothers said that should we sit down for our brother to be bigger and higher than us that we must bow to him can you imagine you your grandfather is there your grandmother is there your aunties are there your uncles are there your senior brothers and sisters are there and you you came yesterday you want to be greater than your even your ancestors have you seen any member of this family becoming finished even in college before? Have you seen any member of this family ever seen 200,000 200, before? And you, you want to walk in millions? You are a joker. We will kill you before your time. <laughs> By the time you realize they have given you cancer, you are dying. Star Jesus. Family, family, family within the family. A man's greatest enemies are people of his own household. They will cripple you one time. So I feel pity for the one who is not prayerful. I feel pity for the one who thinks they are doing God a favor by serving Jesus. And I've seen too many things in this world. If you play games with your life, your life will be messed up. So please be serious with your Christianity and be awake and alive in Christ. So God was pointing them to stargazers because they are there, astrologers because it's real. And the monthly prognosticators, the monthly prognosticators, we are not just saying things, stargazers, astronomers, monthly prognosticators, people who can look into the month and say this coming month, there will be rainfall, there will be this, there will be that. And this was going to happen to her this month. So through the month, they can even determine when you are going to get your divorce letter. This month is when you'll be fired from the work. Because somebody is a monthly prognosticator reading the month to know and to come after you. And you don't want to pray. All you know is pray for me. I understand we pray for each other. But you got to know how to pray yourself. You got to know how to fast. You got to know how to walk with Jesus Christ yourself. You need to have a personal relationship with Jesus. So that when these stargazers, star browsers, astrologers, monthly prognosticators, fortune tellers and psychics and witch doctors and, and diviners are working against you, you can stand for yourself and defend yourself because you know Jesus. You have him with you and he is your deliverer. If you don't have a relationship, how are you going to fight all these? I'm saying some of us, are, we, are, we are not living half of our destinies. We are not. Because, truth be told, 
you didn't have a covering, spiritual covering. You had parents, but spiritually they didn't know these things. And some of us to still, up to now, you are watching on to see your children being crippled by the same star gazers because you don't you are not spiritual. You, you are you don't know what's going on. And they are coming after your children, your grandchildren. You have no idea these great destinies. That is in them. So that's I just wanted to give you facts about these things that they exist. If you doubted it, at least you know something. If you don't want to believe it, that's fine. But God even acknowledges that these things exist. Monthly prognosticators, astrologers, diviners are all they are still currently they are still in existence. But the most dangerous one is those who are now now you don't have to go and look for them. Oh, I'm going to a psychic, I'm going to a diviner, I'm going to... Uh, it, some time ago, people used to... But to, f today, the devil has planted them within families. The devil has nicely planted them within the families to do their work for them. So, if you're not prayerful, they'll cripple your destiny and after that, go and cripple your son or your daughter. And you, after that, they move on to your grandchildren. As long as they realize that you are a nice Christian, very nice Christian, ice creamish, monkey donut Christian, they'll keep on destroying you, destroying your children, grandchildren. So you have to arise and be prayerful. Stop them before they stop you. Stop them before they stop you because they are able to see your potential. So you got to arise and frustrate their assignment by prayer by prayer by prayer there's nothing magical by prayer men always ought to pray that's why this new song prayer is the answer it is a prophetic song i pray that some of you are listening to it and it's been a source of encouragement to encourage you to pray it is serious that there's nothing that you can do to stop these things, but by prayer and supplication, by prayer, you can frustrate and, and sabotage and dismantle and destroy their evil assignment and agenda. Fasting and prayer is the key. So if you haven't checked out the new song, Prayer is the Answer, please do so today. Go to the YouTube channel, Minister Esther Word, Minister Esther Word, Minister Esther Word. And check out my prayer song, Prayer is the Answer. Prayer is the Answer. You will find it on Minister Esther Word YouTube channel, Minister Esther Word. Or just type, Prayer is the Answer song. Prayer is the Answer song by Reverend Kiel Blessing. Prayer is the Answer by Reverend Kiel Blessing. You will see the song. Click on it. Let it remind you that the battles we are fighting, the challenges we are going through, the only way we can defeat and frustrate and twerk the plans of our enemies is by invoking, engaging God in prayer to come and fight for us, to come and rescue us. Because there are many that are against us. There are many things that are fighting and resisting us. So prayer is indeed the answer. Mm, so please check the song out. When you do that, click like, share, subscribe, and also be blessed by it and let it cause you to pray. Daniel chapter 2. People in the people who are spiritual, they know these things. You can't be a king. I'm telling you, most politicians and rich people and even celebrities, they, they, they have people who do their spiritual things for them. Before they even do some of these shows and some of these, um, how do you call it? Com um, like a celebrity is coming up to town to do concerts. Before they do this concert, they, they, they are able to consult their star gazers, their star browsers, their, their monthly prognosticators and diviners and say, hey, what day do you think is appropriate for me to do, to do this show where I can get most, most of the crowd and I can be able to win the souls of people? And will tell you that you know what let's do this concert do this concert on the half moon do it on the half moon when it is half moon or do it when it is full moon or do it on this april this because on that day 
the networkings of the energies and forces will be able to help you and it will attract the masses to come and you'll be able to capture many so they even understand spiritual things and you are a christian you don't even understand nothing you don't nothing you don't even you you don't understand nothing. You don't know the month. You don't know nothing. You just wake up every day. Every day to you is the same. Monday is the same. Tuesday is the same. Thursday is the same. Friday is the same. Some people, people because of stargazers, astrologers, astronomers, they know exactly what month to take an exams, what day to go for an interview, what, what color of dress, if they wear on that, they will favor them. There are companies that have Legos and colors. It's not just colors. No, they have the colors represent something to them and grant them specific energy and favors. Some people understand even color, color of dress, the hair this color works with me and if i wear it and th things are it, this color is i they, they 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 understand because they, they they understand that water and fire does not go together so if they are they are gazing your star and they think you are you, you are carrying the fire energy then make sure you don't get yourself in marriage or in partnership with somebody who has whose energy is water otherwise you will become incompatible because fire and water does not work together they go to these enchanters to give them these tips before they plan and execute things this is the same person you are going for an interview with I go to one bank and I see two tellers. They are from, I'm sorry, I'm just explaining. I'm not, it's not, but they are from India. And I noticed that this, this lady at her booth, at her desk where she works, she has a small tortoise a small tortoise which is made with blues blue which is colored blue every time she's working she plays the tortoise on top so that it, as a teller anybody who comes if the, the next day if she moves to this place she will take the tortoise and put it there and god says you see the energy the spirit that she works with that gives her control over her environment she has a tortoise and it's visible she does it she's not hiding it but the average human being would think oh it is a a nice decorated thing she like it. no it is her her god her idol she brings her idol every day to work and i've been there and today if she's working here you see the tortoise blue she will position it She's not even hiding it, meaning that as you are coming, the tortoise is giving her information, who you are and what you... I said, this, 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 this world is... I almost wanted to take... <laughs> record just the tortoise. I wanted to take a picture of the tortoise. And God says that, don't go and start unnecessary battles. <laughs> and then come and rush to me for protection and battle it's unnecessary it is none of your business you went in just deposit your your money and leave don't go and engage because you even if you take the picture she may busy and not see it but the tortoise being a spirit will know that you have taken it a picture a picture and it will come to also fight back so god says i haven't called you into this battle don't go and start unnecessary battle and after that come and pray to me for protection and God and the battles which is in my mind. No, 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 no. It is none of your business. You went in to do transaction. Just do your transaction. I just open your eyes to see, to let you know 
that these are what people are doing in order to what? Control their territories. She carries her spirit, her idol, to her work every day. Her tortoise, she pulls there. Blue, blue. Blue tortoise. I'm not talking about live tortoise. It has been made with a metal. A tortoise made with metal, small, just little one, and bluish. And she'll sit it in front of her. So that anybody who comes, you see the tortoise. The tortoise is communicating with you. If you come with an evil energy again, say she, oh, she's already no no. I said, This is heavy. This is heavy. Her people are doing heavy things. I one time had an encounter with her. I one time had an encounter with her. And the battle had to fight. What I'm saying is that don't be naive. We have magicians, enchanters, astrologers, monthly prognosticators, stargazers and star browsers. They foresee people's destiny Hundreds of years. 400 years, they already know what is coming. And they'll be, they'll be scanning everybody in the family to see who carries that star. Immediately, the child shows up, they are coming for your life. If your parent, and that's why some parents, knowing these things, if they are on the other side, they take their children for protection. So you can't blame some, some of you. If you look into your body, you realize that there's incisions. There's marks because your mom or your dad took you to a spiritualist for protection. And they wanting to protect your star from other stargazers and star browsers or witches and wizards who had wanted to kill you before your time or destroy you. The witch doctor did some what incisions on your body. Some of you just look into your body, you see marks made. And the marks was as a result of your mom or your dad taking you to a spiritualist somewhere when you were young because you were going through sicknesses or you were being attacked as a child and they needed to protect you and they made those marks to protect you from those evil witchcraft activities that was after your life then but the question is that those concoction they made for you to drink or herb, herb, herbs that you drank and the incisions on your life, it allowed that demonic spirit who is stronger than maybe your household witchcraft and household idol protected you from them eating you up, destroying you. But now as you grow, you have another new covenant with another stronger demon. And that's why still your life is still on a hold because they kept you safe from household witchcraft activities to kill or destroy you and now have covenanted you with a stronger spirit which was stronger than your family altars. So you realize that still, maybe you, you survived the sickness, you finished school, you married, you, you are everything, but today you are finding it difficult to be pregnant. You are finding it difficult to get married because that spirit that was able to deliver you from premature death from the hands of the household witches that wanted to kill you. Now the new spirit, his covenant dictates that you say you stay you stay single or you stay barren as your covenant, as what as as the price for what they did for you then. So some of you look into your you see incisions, but not incisions because you were taken to places for protection from stargazers. That's where your battle started from. Because they saw your star. Daniel chapter 2 verse 1. Now in the second year of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar's reign, Nebuchadnezzar had a dream and his spirit was so troubled that he, he slept, he, he, his sleep left him. Then the king gave command to all the magicians, the astrologers, the magicians, the astrologers, the sorcerers, the Chaldeans to tell the king of his dream. So even the king, Nebuchadnezzar, the kings, kings were having these people to come around and to let him know, to foretell what was coming. Magicians, astrologers, 
And as part of them was Daniel. But Daniel had the spirit of God that can foresee the future and not using any divining powers in the name of Jesus. A lot of damages have been done. A lot of damages have been done already. But today, anyone who continuously watches you and is able to program your months, your days, your weeks to frustrate your destiny, this is what we are asking the Lord to do to them for us. In Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 19 verse 11. Genesis chapter 19 verse 11. Genesis chapter 19 verse 11. I want you to type, Lord, anyone who is monitoring me with an evil eye, Lord, blind them. Anyone who is monitoring me with an evil eye, monitoring me with an evil Lord, strike them with blindness. Blind them, Lord Jesus. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. As long as they monitor, you can't pass the exams. As long as they monitor, you can't get your immigration papers. You will waste all your money on, on, on lawyers. You will never get your immigration papers. On, on, as long as they monitor, you can never be pregnant. Every pregnancy will end in miscarriage. As long as they keep on monitoring you, every man who comes into your life will break your heart and walk out. You can never settle down in marriage because of the monitoring I today. May God, whosoever, whosoever, whosoever it may be. Lord, I don't care. I don't care. I said whosoever. So if it is your mom, your brother, your sister, your cousin, your whatever. I said whosoever. If if they say if it quacks like the the the, 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 the dark, if it looks like the dark, then it's whoever fits the description, who is monitoring you? May their evil eye, may their evil eye. Be blinded in the name of Jesus Christ. May God blind their evil eyes so that their evil enterprise against you will come to a halt in Jesus' name. Now, now let, 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 let me read. In, in, in Genesis chapter 19, we realize that two angels were sent to Sodom and Gomorrah to go and rescue Lot. And we learned that God showed him great favor. We prayed about it yesterday. Two angels were sent to Sodom and Gomorrah to go and rescue Lot and also to bring judgment on Sodom and Gomorrah. And when they went, the Bible says, the men of Sodom and Gomorrah decided to rape, decided to rape the angels. So this spirit of homosexuality, gay and lesbian, it's an ancient demon. It is an ancient spirit. It is not starting today. In the in Genesis, is where this perfect spirit started. That can you imagine men wanting to sleep? They had audacity to want to rape and sleep. And defile angels. That was how depraved man had come to. So now they had wanted to come break, and the, the angel was the, the two angels were lodging or staying in Lot's house. In Lot's house. And the men were willing to break the door, enter and bring the angels out. To rape them. Let's see how God had to deal with this issue. Let's see how God dealt with this issue. Verse 8. See, now I have... Verse 9. And they said, Stack, stand back. Then they said, This one came in to say, to stay here. And he keeps acting as a judge. Now we will deal worse with you than with them. With them, so they pressed hard against the man Lot, and came near to break down the door. But the men reached out their hands, that's the angels, and pulled Lot into the house with them, and shut the door. Verse eleven. They struck and they struck the men 
who were at the doorway of the house with blindness. And they strike, they struck. The men were now at the door, wanting to break the door to come in and rip the angels. The angels, only way of survival. Once the people could see, they could do damage. So the Bible says, And they struck the men who were at the doorway of the house with blindness, both small and great. So they became weary trying to find the door. As once they were blinded, they could not, they could not find the door. And that's how Lot was able to escape and the angels also escaped because they were right in front, but they could not find the door. They are, they are there, but they could not find. So when God blinds your enemies who are browsing and monitoring you, they can now be around you, but they can't monitor you. Their eyes have been shut, spiritual eyes. That they don't know your affairs anymore and they cannot read and map and track and discern your next move. That's the only way you will now become successful. One lady used to have an issue with pregnancy. Every time she becomes pregnant, miscarriage, pregnant, miscarriage for more than five times. Then she becomes pregnant again and now it's working, it's working, it's working. This time around, she's almost there. She's on the ninth month of her pregnancy. Usually by set month, miscarriage. Set month, miscarriage. But this time by prayer, by prayer, by prayer and fasting, by prayer, by prayer, by prayer and fasting. She was able to cross the six months. Ah, oh Lord Jesus, after all these years, finally, I'm going to be pregnant. She went closer, six months, seven months, eight months, nine months. Ah, we are all excited. And the doctor says that we don't want to. We don't want to take chances because of your past. We want to come, we want, we want to sow your you trust or something. We want to sow it so that when the time comes, we'll open it so that it will be easy for you to push. We want to sow, we want to sow it so that you know, the, the, the doctors were all working and cooperating with these couples. Because she has never passed six months. But now ninth month. Ninth month. Nine, on the ninth month, a family member comes in. A family member travels to show up. And she says, please don't, we don't want to entertain any family. The husband says, no, no, that's mine, this, that's mine, that. Almost, you see, witchcraft. And so the person came in and stayed with them. For only a couple, one week. Immediately the person left. Bruh. If she was to go to the hospital on Monday, Friday, she miscarried. Ah. Meaning that even if she had gone earlier, the doctors, because they gave her appointment that come on this day and we will just induce the child to come out because we know your, 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 your situation. So we have given you a time. They packaged a family member to have access, to come in. He made a person came in to spend a week. When they left, by Friday, miscarriage, whilst Monday she was going for delivery. If God has not struck them with blindness, and they can monitor your time and seasons. The Bible says monthly prognosticators. Monthly. Every month, they look into the month and determine this is the month she will lose that job. This is the month she will miscarriage. This is the month she will take the exams and fail it. This is the month who will strike her man with sickness. <laughs> monthly prognosticators. They are reading the month against you. The angel of the Lord strike them. With blindness. Oh Lord, send your angels. Whoever. Whoever is whoever. If whoever is me, if whoever is you, may God strike you, may strike me. To me, I pray general. Whosoever. Whosoever. Even if you are watching me and you are you fit the description, I'm coming for you. If I if I'm the one monitoring you, so you can't get it, then your prayers is coming to me. So I'm just I'm not trying to say, oh, you go to no, 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 no. I'm saying whosoever. No mercy for nobody. <laughs> and you, if you don't like me, I don't care if you like me or no, don't like me. But I want to live to fulfill my destiny. I want to live to cause to see my star and my glory shine. So if you are the whosoever, then be ready. Then there's war. If I'm the whosoever, then there's war. 
Because some of us have toyed with destiny too much. You've toyed with your life too much. You have sat down for monthly prognosticators, sat down for star grazers, star gazers, star browsers, astrologers, sorcerers, diviners, mediums, and, 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 and magicians, and witch doctors, and evil eyes to frustrate your life when you are sit still sitting down. No, who, whosoever. Whosoever is whosoever. I don't care. I don't. I'm coming for you in the name of Jesus. I am what? I am not nice. And I don't want to be nice. Spiritually, I'm not nice. Don't try to make me nice. I'm not nice. I'm not nice. I am sent to bring deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. I am not nice. I am not nice. I am not nice. We am, But I need you to be delivered to fulfill your destiny in the name of Jesus. This year, you will fulfill your destiny. Whoever has been monitoring you, monitoring you, monitoring you because of their monitoring, every time you are the brink of a miracle, a breakthrough, a testimony... You lose it. Something will happen and you lose it. Who is tracking you out? Down. Who is monitoring you? Who is following you? Who is using their evil eye to frustrate all your blessing? Who has been using their evil eye to watch everything you are doing? It's like a camera that they have set in your house. And they are just watching. Oh, she is in the bedroom. Oh, she is in the living room. Oh, look at her cooking. Oh, look at her in the bathroom. It's like somebody is watching you 24-7. And everything you plan is not coming to pass. What's going on? Whoever, it, whosoever, whosoever, is whosoever, I said I'm not going to be nice. I'm for peace, but when I pray, I'm for war. If you don't like me, so be it, in the name of Jesus. But today, somebody will get their deliverance, in the name of Jesus. I came for that somebody. I didn't come to be nice. I came for somebody's deliverance. Whosoever is watching me, who, somebody, someone, whoever is watching you and frustrating today, let their eyes, evil eye, be blinded. Let the angel of the Lord strike their eyes with blindness. Let the angel of the Lord strike their eyes with blindness. Don't be surprised when you wake up one day and somebody say, oh my eye, oh my eye, so be it. Somebody begins to complain to you, I can't see, I can't see, so be it. Or somebody, whatever it is, may God bring judgment to the wicked. May God bring judgment to the wicked. We are going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, whosoever is monitoring me with an evil eye to frustrate my life, Lord, strike them with blindness. Let the angel of the Lord strike them with blindness. In the name of Jesus, let the angel of the Lord strike them, strike them, strike them with blindness. Let the angel of the Lord strike them with blindness. Reka brando secre bosca brata brasco pregete reba soca branda. Whosoever, whosoever in my marriage, in my family. Ma pa 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 pa, ra pa 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 pa, ra 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 pa pa pa, re kata la kata la kata, re ba no soko tone kete kete, ra pa 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 pa, re ba shata, whosoever, 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 whosoever. Whosoever is monitoring you, let them be blinded. Let them be blinded. Let them be blinded. In the name of Jesus. 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 We release blindness. We release blindness in the camp of the enemy. We release blindness in the camp of the enemy. We release blindness in the camp of the enemy. We release blindness in the camp of the enemy. Whosoever monitors you with their evil eye, let them be blinded. 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 In the name of Jesus, whoever, whoever, whosoever is monitoring you. Kata la bada bada, rapata la 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 bada, in the name of Jesus. 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 Whoever has been monitoring me, Lord Almighty, blind them. Father, blind them. 
Let the angel of the Lord strike them with blindness. Let the angel of the Lord strike them with blindness. Let the angel of the Lord strike them with blindness. Let the angel of the Lord strike them with blindness. Let the angel of the Lord strike them with blindness. Whosoever monitors my life, whoever monitors my star, whoever monitors my glory, whoever monitors my destiny, whoever has been monitoring my marriage, whoever has been monitoring my son, my daughter, whoever has been monitoring my family, my finances, my business, my job, my education, whoever has been monitoring my life, Today, in the name of Jesus, let the judgment of God come upon you. Let the judgment of the Lord come upon you. May the Lord Jesus strike them with blindness. Let the Lord strike them with blindness. Let the Lord strike them with blindness. Whatever they are using to, blind, to monitor you, if they use animals, if they use monitoring gadgets, if they use familiar spirits, today let their evil eye, let them use their evil eye, their monitoring eye, their witchcraft eye, be blinded, be blinded, be blinded. I blind every monthly prognosticators, every sorcerer, every witch, every wizard, every agent of darkness, every sorcerer, every diviner, every fortune teller, every psychic, every stargazer, star browser, every astrologer, I blind you, be blinded, be blinded, be blinded, let the angel of the Lord blind them, 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 let the angel of the Lord blind them. I release blindness in the camp of my enemies. I release blindness in the camp of my enemies. I release blindness in the camp of their enemy. I release blindness in the camp of my enemies. Let them be blinded. From today they will not be able to monitor you again. From today they will not be able to track you. They will not be able to follow you. In the name of Jesus. Where I blind every witch. I blind every agent. I blind every astrologer. I blind every shaman. Rekapa. Rekatoska. Rebasekete. Matuna Vanda. Mekoro stara, raba suka brende, reba koro segete, reba doba daba, reba daba dos, 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 reba daba dos. Father, whoever is monitoring us in our mother's house, whoever is monitoring us from our father's house, every evil altar, every evil altar, every evil shrine that is monitoring us, let it catch fire, burn it to ashes. We send, O Lord of my blindness, in the camp of our enemy. From today, they will not be able to see us anymore, to track us anymore. To monitor us anymore, to frustrate our destiny anymore. Lord, strike them with blindness. Lord, strike them with blindness. Lord, strike them in the blind. Lord, strike them with blindness. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord strike them with blindness. May the Lord strike your enemies with blindness. May the Lord strike the witches with blindness. May the Lord strike the wizards with blindness. May the Lord strike the manly prognosticators with blindness. Rabaskata, astrologers. Whoever has been practicing witchcraft against you, Lord, strike them with blindness. In the name of Jesus, let the angel of the Lord strike them with blindness. Let the angel of the Lord strike them with blindness. Let the angel of the Lord strike them with blindness. Let the angel of the Lord strike them with blindness. Let the angel of the Lord strike them with blindness. Let the angel of the Lord strike them with blindness. Let the angel of the Lord strike them with blindness. Let the angel of the Lord strike them with blindness. In the name of Jesus, let every evil eye receive blindness. Let every monetary eye receive blindness. Let every third eye receive blindness. Let every witch cut eye blindness. Whatever, whoever is monitoring me, today receive blindness. Today receive blindness. Be blinded in the name of Jesus. Be blinded by the blood of Jesus. Let the sword of the spirit, let the, let the sword, the arrows of God pierce my, the enemy's eye and blind them in the name of Jesus. Let the angel of the Lord strike them with blindness. Rabba Saka Tayada. Re Kantuni Mikan Tayada. Re Pasco Pre Nekata. Re Pasco Pre Namados. Re Kata. Radados, Rekata Rabados, Reparakatunianta, Rekaraba Sukapaya, Repantole Vegete, Reparaba Sukataya, Rekata Labados, Reka Fakuna Masata, Blind them, O God, Blind them, O God, Blind them, O God, Blind them, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. May God blind them. Today we are going to pray, Father, whoever follows me, whoever, whoever it is that has been monitoring me. With their evil eye, Father, expose them, expose them, expose them, expose them, expose them, whoever, whoever, whoever is close to you, whoever is around you, whoever is internal or external that monitors you. And because of their monitoring, you are unable to move to the next level in your life. Father, whosoever that person is, 
let them be exposed. Let them be exposed and let them be blinded. Let them be exposed and let them be blinded. Whosoever is close to me, whosoever is around me, whosoever is in my inner circle, whosoever is even an outsider that has been employed to monitor me, to attack me, Father God Almighty, expose them. Expose them because you need to know them and you need to avoid them. You need to know them. You need to avoid them. Lord, expose them and Lord, blind 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 them. Lord, Whoever it is around my inner circle, whoever is external enemy, internal enemy, expose them and blind them, expose them and blind them, expose them and blind them. Whoever is monitoring my son, whoever is monitoring my daughter, whoever is monitoring my husband, whoever is monitoring my wife, whoever is monitoring my marriage, whoever is monitoring my job, whoever is monitoring my business, whoever is monitoring my finances, whoever is monitoring my destiny, Lord, expose them, Lord, blind them, 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 in the name of Jesus. Pasco Pranda, Reba Shapa Rabadosa, Reba Shapranda, Reba Soprege, Reba Sopranda Lavando, Reba Shanda, may the Lord expose, may the Lord expose, any agent of darkness, may the Lord expose her, every astrologer, may the Lord expose her, any or friendly friend, may the Lord expose her, anyone who is close to you, but be watching you in secrecy. Reba Skatalaba, Reba Skorekata, Reba Soraba, may the Lord expose them to you, may the Lord blind them, may the Lord expose them, may the Lord blind them. May the Lord expose them. May the Lord blind them. May the Lord expose them. May the Lord blind them. Let their evil eye, let their third eye, let their witchcraft eye, let their evil eye be blinded. Be blinded. Be blinded. Be exposed. 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 Be blinded. Be exposed and blinded. Whatever they are using to monitor you, let it catch fire and burn it to ashes. Whatever they are using to monitor you, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray. Whatever they are using, whatever. Sometimes they can use cats. Some of you, there's a cat that watches you. They can use a dog to monitor you. They can use a dog to monitor you. They can use some picture to monitor you. They can use spider webs to monitor you. They can use different things that they place around you. And these things, even a statue, you think it's just a statue, but this statue have a spirit in it that is monitoring you. Father, whatever my enemies have employed to use to monitor me. When you go to church, somebody's there monitoring you. When you go to work, somebody's planted monitoring you. When you go to the grocery, somebody's planted monitoring you. Father, whatever my enemies are using to monitor me, let it catch fire and burn into ashes. Let it catch fire and burn into ashes. Whether it's a crystal ball, whether it's a magical mirror, whatever they are using, bed, monitoring beds, monitoring beds, monitoring beds, whatever beds they are using to monitor me. Father, whatever they are using to monitor me, let it catch fire and burn into ashes. Let it catch fire, burn into ashes. Let it catch fire, burn into ashes. In the name of Jesus, whatever instrument, whatever element my enemies have employed to destroy me through these monitoring devices, Lord, let it catch fire and burn into ashes. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Prayer answers. God answers prayer. Something is happening. Something is happening in the camp of the enemy. Whatever our enemies are using to monitor us, to destroy us, let it catch fire. Let it burn into ashes. Let it catch fire, let it burn into ashes. Every beast, every animal, every cat, every dog, every bird, every snake, every statue, every picture, every, every, every element, every, every element, every magical mirror, every crystal ball. Rabba Soka Prande Keteya, Roko Rabba Sanda, whoever has gone to any witch doctor, which them to monitor us. Father God, let them catch fire and burn into us. Let the altar, let their shrines catch fire. Let the altar, let their shrine catch fire. Reba Soka Rambade, Reba Sopreke, Repanta Labados, Monka Badaba, Rabados, Cabrade, Mandala, Grande Kete, Masuka Brande, Reba do Catalaba, Reba Suka Branda Kataya, Reba Sokre Boko, Reba Dabada, Reba Dabadaba, Roko Toleba. Let every monitoring gadget. Let every monitoring device, let every computer, let every camera, let every television, whatever they are using, Father, let it catch fire and burn it to ashes. Let it catch fire and let it burn it to ashes. Let it catch every monitoring device, catch fire. Every tracking device, catch fire. Every computer, catch fire. Every phone, catch fire. Every witchcraft networking, catch fire. Catch fire. Burn it to ashes. Catch fire. Burn it to ashes. Catch fire. Every bird, every cat, every dog, any insect, whatever they are using, whoever they are using to monitor us, catch fire and burn it to ashes. 
Catch fire and burn it to ashes. Catch fire and burn it to ashes. Catch fire and burn it to ashes. Catch fire and burn it to ashes. Catch fire and burn it to ashes. Catch fire and burn it to ashes. Catch fire and burn it to ashes. Catch fire and burn it to ashes. Catch fire and burn it to ashes. Catch fire and burn it to ashes. Catch fire and burn it to ashes. Catch fire and burn it to ashes. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Whatever they are using to monitor you, let today let it catch fire and burn it to ashes. In the name of Jesus. Let it catch fire and burn it to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to pray today. Finally, Lord, whatever damages they have done because of this monitoring, today, Lord, restore me by fire, by thunder. Whatever damages, whatever distraction that they have caused me, today, by prayer, let there be restoration. By prayer, restore my glory, restore my marriage, restore my health, restore my son, restore my daughter, restore my finances, restore my business, restore my immigration papers, restore my achievement, whatever, restore my education, restore whatever damages this monitoring eyes has done to cause me to be delayed, to cause me to fail, to cause me to struggle, to cause me to be behind. Today, Lord, restore me by fire, restore me by fire. In the name of Jesus, restore me by fire. Begin to pray that the God of restoration, by today your prayer, he will restore you. Restoration, 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 restoration by fire by thunder, restoration by fire by thunder, restoration by fire by thunder, restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, restore my life, Lord, restore my destiny, Lord, restore my glory, Lord, restore my glory, restore some of the cell, restore some of the spirits, my is glory, is glory, Father, restore, restore, restore. Whatever the devil stole from you, whatever the devil stole from your children, whatever the devil stole from your marriage, whatever the devil stole from your husband, whatever the devil stole from your your wife, whatever the devil has stolen from you, let it be restored in the name of Jesus. Let it be restored in the name of Jesus. May God restore your peace. May the Lord restore your joy. May the Lord restore your finances. May the Lord restore your health. May the Lord restore your miracle. May the Lord restore your education. May the Lord restore your properties. Rebas Kataya. Rebas Kata. Whoever has stolen from you, for to today, by prayer, let there be a restoration in the name of Jesus. Let the angel of the Lord restore. Let the angel of the Lord restore. Let the angel of the Lord restore. We pursue. We recover. We take back what the devil has stolen from us. Let there be a total restoration. Repossess your possession. Let there be a total restoration of your blessing, of your glory, of your star, of your destiny, of your blessing. Re Paskata. 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 May God restore. May God restore. May God restore. May God restore. Be restored in the name of Jesus. 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 Let your marriage be restored. Let your finance be restored. Let your health be restored. Let your education be restored. Let your children be restored. Let your marriage be restored. Let your health be restored. Let your business be restored. Let your education be restored. Let your glory be restored. Let your pregnancy be restored. Let your joy be restored. Let your peace be restored. Let your blessing be restored. Let your property be restored. Whatever the devil stole from you, whatever the evil one stole from you, let it be restored by fire by thunder. By fire by thunder. By fire by thunder. Be restored in the name of Jesus. Reba Soka Branda. Reba Shakatayada. Mendele Katuni Bikata. Masuka Branga Dekete. Reba Sobrega De. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Restoration. Restoration. I want you to type if you can taste it three times. Restoration. Restoration. Restoration in Jesus' name. You can type it. Restoration. 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 Today, whatever was damaged, whatever was destroyed, whatever was stolen by these star gazers, star browsers, today, may God restore you. In the mighty, matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Let's take the communion. Father, as today we partake of the communion, the blood and your body. The Bible says we overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb. We overcame the devil. We overcame the devil today. We use the blood of Jesus Christ to blind. We use the blood. We overcome every monitoring, astrologers, stargazers, star browsers, monthly prognosticators, 
witches and wizards, people with third eye, people with evil eye, who are monitoring us, satanic animals like cats, dogs, birds, insects, satanic f pictures, statues, satanic demonic element, evil people they have planted around us to monitor us, to frustrate our lives. Father, as we partake of the communion, we use it as a weapon of warfare to blind our enemies. Let any witch be blinded, any wizard be blinded, every agent of darkness be blinded. Every altar in our mother's house, father's house, that is fighting us, household witches and wizards who are monitoring us and fighting us, let them be blinded. Let their shrine, let their altar catch fire and burn into ashes in the name of Jesus. Every demonic entity that follows you and monitors you, let them catch fire and burn into ashes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the God of deliverance, may the God of restoration, may the God of salvation save you, deliver you. May whoever has been planted close to you, who has been monitoring you and frustrating God's purpose in your life from today as you partake of the blood. May God expose them. May God blind them. May God expose them. May God blind them. And may the Lord disconnect you from them in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your total restoration. Whatever you, the damages that was caused you, whatever they stole from you, receive restoration in the name of Jesus. Repossess your possession in Jesus' name. Recover your inheritance in Jesus' name. May God begin to bring to pass your destiny this season, this month, this year in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. It is done in Jesus' name. I'm restored. I'm restored. I'm restored. In Jesus' name. Please try and get the song. Watch the song. Prayer is the answer from our YouTube channel, Minister Esther Word. Minister Esther Word. Go and listen to the song. Prayer is the answer. Be encouraged to pray because there's power in prayer. Prayer is the answer. You can type it on YouTube. Prayer is the answer song. Prayer is the answer song by Reverend K.L. Blessing. Prayer is the answer by Reverend K.L. Blessing. Or you can find it on our YouTube channel, Minister Esther Word. Minister Esther Word YouTube channel. Let us encourage you to pray and God will give you victory over every situation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And when you listen, share, like, subscribe, and also leave your comment and be a blessing to somebody by also sharing it. Amen. Tomorrow, thank you, Jesus. We give glory and honor to our Lord Jesus Christ. Any donation, any giving can be done through the website www.freshfireprayer.com. Any donation, any giving can be done through the website www.freshfireprayer.com. Now, listen, our next deliverance, our, our scripture for tomorrow, we are going to do Genesis chapter 2 and three genesis chapter two and three for tomorrow just for tomorrow we are doing genesis chapter two and three two and three so that when we meet tomorrow the next one will be genesis chapter four so our scripture reading for tomorrow is genesis chapter two and three because of the little mistake um there's a mess up so we want to catch up and be on the same page so tomorrow's scripture reading is genesis chapter two and three Genesis 2 and 3. Read Genesis chapter 2 and it's the weekend, so you should be able to get more time. Genesis 2 and 3. So that tomorrow, the next day, we start from 4 on the same page. Amen. Our next deliverance confer conference is taking place in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Next month, the month of March. March 29th and 30th. Those of you um florida i'm coming to florida if you are not in florida and you are close to florida come and experience the deliverance and the power of god on the month of march march 29th and march 30th march 29th and march 30th that is friday and saturday the time will be 7 p.m 7 p.m and the address is sheraton suit hotel sheraton suit hotel at cypress creek sheraton suit hotel at cypress creek and um the address is uh 555 northwest 62nd street 555 northwest 62nd street fort Lauderdale, florida and the zip code is 33309 33309 um no registration is required no registration is needed just invite as many people as you can and come with your friends loved ones 
and come and experience the presence, the power, and the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Join us every day at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S., 4 a.m. London, 5 a.m. Europe. For those of you in Australia, it is 2 p.m. Those of you in East Africa, at 7 a.m. Those of you in West Africa, at 5 a.m. Join us for prayers on our YouTube channel, um, KL Blessing, or Minister Esther White, or Fresh Fire Prayer Line. And the Lord be will be a blessing to you in Jesus' name. Our fasting continues from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. We are fasting from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And we break the fast at 6 p.m. And we meet to pray. May God richly bless each and every one of you. And I, I want you to know that there's going to be a reaction in the spiritual realm which has taken place. And some of you, physically, certain individuals cannot feel comfortable coming around you. It's okay because they cannot monitor you anymore. When you see that, don't try to undo what your prayers have done. Don't try to undo carnally what your prayers have done spiritually. If Let God drive out all monitoring agents away from you so that you can now begin to have your testimony this year in the name of Jesus. Any giving, any donation can be done on our website, www.freshfireprayer.com. Please subscribe to Minister Esther Word YouTube channel, Minister Esther Word, and also listen to a new song, say thank you and also prayer is the answer you'll get all this information these new songs on minister esther word youtube channel may god bless you i look forward to seeing you tomorrow same time at tomorrow we are not going to be on facebook and on also on tiktok so please all those all those who joined us on facebook and tiktok um join us tomorrow through the youtube channel which is Minister Esther Wade, Minister Esther Wade, and subscribe, or KL Blessing, and subscribe, and join us. God richly bless each and every one of you. Bye.